I'm joined now by Ray Gamble. He's going to chat with us about what to look forward to at CI 2016. So what what's it all about? Give us a kind of an overview. Well, sure. Um, so it's always exciting for me. It's almost like coming back to your high school reunion because you get to see all the researchers and scientists I've worked with for a number of years. Um, prior to coming to MedL and with MedL. And it's always fun to see how we're advancing to bring awareness of hearing loss. You know, it's still to this day, we've only hit about 5% of the potential people worldwide that need cochlear implants. And who's identified it as the number three problem in the world? And so we really want to bring access to hearing implants out there and really eliminate the barrier of communication due to hearing loss. So it's exciting to be here. Absolutely. Are there any sessions that you are personally looking forward to attending? There are. Um, so I, I'm an audiologist by training, and my interest was uh, over 65-year-olds. And so we're seeing a lot of research on the elderly and the impact of independent living, and if they have access to sound, that they live independent longer, and that if they have have that awareness, also it seems to delay dementia. So that's very interesting. And then it's, it's amazing to see what these patients have done over the years. It just wows me to see the neuroplasticity taking this signal and making it concrete to these patients. So now, you know, instead of patients going, oh, what, this sound doesn't sound like it used to, it's, boy, the Beatles just don't sound quite right. And that's, that's a wow factor to me oh, to wow. this day, yeah. Yeah, wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Uh, as far as Medel's booth goes, what can people expect when they stop by there? Well, we have a pretty cool thing. It's called the Synchrony Cochlear Implant System, and it's a really unique thing. Um, it's the only uh, cochlear implant that's approved for three Tesla MRIs by the C the CE mark and by the FDA and Health Canada. And so what this means to patients is that they can get an MRI without an additional surgery. And it's a big wow factor. Mm -hmm. And particularly if I relate it back to the over 65 group, you know, one in three people over the age of 65 will need an MRI. And so this is a huge thing for these patients not to worry about having an additional surgery or being without sound for a period of time. We've eliminated that. Wow, sounds like huge steps forward happening. Yes. Very exciting. So I keep hearing about Medel's Inside Story series. Tell me a bit about that. Well, this is something new that we did because we really want to convey what Medel's about. Mm -hmm. And we want to want people to know about the science that goes into our technology, the research and development, and really have them understand that that this device is more than just what goes inside their head. It's the people behind it and have allowed them to get a greater understanding so that they can make an informed decision about getting a hearing implant. Wow, so sort of uh, the behind the scenes of it a bit? It is, it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these individuals who get our device are, are with us for their life. And so we want them to be part of our culture and be invested in it, just mm -hmm. like we're invested in them. And if you want them to be invested, certainly you want them to have access to all of Medel's information, that sort of thing. So how can people get involved? Well, of course, they can look at the Inside series, mm -hmm. which we're talking about, but also Facebook and Twitter mm, are a great, right. great way to go about it. Definitely important to stay linked in no online. Doubt. Uh, what is, would you say, is the most exciting research happening right now in this industry? You know, we're looking at um, getting as many people as possible access to this technology. And really structural preservation, the idea of preserving the, the cochlea um, with an electrode that won't do any additional trauma is really important because, you know, individuals who were born today are gonna live to be over 100. Mm -hmm. And so we wanna make sure that we're not doing any damage to anything in the future that they might take advantage of. So I think that's really maverick and forward moving and also all the sound coding strategies are just really uh, pushing the envelope on performance right mm -hmm. now. Uh, our patients constantly surprise us. What about people that actually want to get involved um, on an advocacy level? Well, we um, we have a program called Hear Peers, and so that's basically almost like a social network where they um, have group chats and so forth, and we get a lot of information about what's important from the uh, recipients from that, and sometimes mm -hmm. they surprise us, and sometimes we get to surprise them with new R&D developments, and we really encourage them to link up with other people who've been through this journey to get their hearing back. 
been really something special. I, I really have been enjoying mm -hmm. seeing the outcomes of that. Well, I can't imagine. And you guys are doing such important work. So thank you for joining us and telling us all about it. Best of luck at CI 2016. Thank you.